Okay, assalamualaikum and good day, sir, guys. So we are going to proceed with the last part of method of undetermined coefficient, which is case three, where your f x is a trigonometric function. So uh, in the previous video, I already told you if your f x is either a cos function or sine function or addition of cos and sine function. Your suggestion for your YP is a combination of cos and sine function, the addition of cos and sine function, okay? So, let's try to solve this one. So, you were asked to find the general solution for y double prime plus 4y is equals to 3 cos 2x, okay? So again, the first step, you have to get your yh by assuming fx is equal to 0. So you will have y double prime plus 4y is equal to 0. Express this one into a characteristic equation. It will give you m squared plus 4 is equal to 0. So get the value of m. Your m is equal to so as you can see here, you have 2i and another one is negative 2i. When you substitute your a is equal to 1, your b equals to 0 and your c is equal to 4. So as you can see here, you don't have the alpha of the b, right? So alpha plus minus beta i. So this is case 3 for homogeneous function, homogeneous solution, sorry. So, since your alpha is equals to 0, so therefore, your m is equals to plus minus 2i. Okay, so you know that your alpha is equals to 0 and your beta is equals to 2. Okay. Okay, so what is the general solution for homogeneous solution? homogeneous equation that you have here so you will have yh is equals to exponent alpha x a cos beta x plus b sine beta x okay so by substituting alpha is equals to 0 beta is equals to 2 therefore your yh is equals to so exponent 0 will give you 1 so you will left with a cos 2x plus b sine 2x. Okay, so this is your yh. So the next step is for you to find your yp. Okay, so again, when you want to suggest your yp, you have to know what is your fx because your suggestion for your yp is based on your fx here. So as you can see now, your fx here is a trigonometric function, so it's referred to case 3, okay, case 3, fx, case 3, okay, so please don't get confused with, with uh, case 3 homo and case 3 for fx, okay, so take a look uh, at my previous uh, video if you still uh, not sure about case 1, case 2, case 3. Okay. So, now your fx is equals to 3 cos 2x. Okay. So, what is your alpha? Your alpha is equals to 2. Okay. So, you know that your alpha is equals to 2. So, therefore, your suggestion for your yp is equals to since I'm already using A and B, so next I'm using a constant C and D. Okay, so C cos 2x plus D sine 2x. Okay, as I told you before, although you just have a cos function for your fx or a sine function for your fx, but your yp still cos plus sine. Okay, so that's why you have 
c cos 2x plus d sin 2x. Okay. In my previous video, the first part in UC, I already teach you on how to suggest your yp based on your fx. So if you still don't understand this one, get back to that video. Okay. So now, we want to know either this yp can be used or not. So what should we do? Yes, you have to compare. So compare yh and yp. Okay. So what is your yh? So yh is equals to a cross 2x plus b sine 2x. And what is your yp? yp is equals to c cross 2x plus d sine 2x. So as you can see here, clearly you have a similar function. Okay, for this one is equals to this one. And another one is, you have this one, which is equals to this one. Okay, so therefore, this yp cannot be used. Okay, so how are you going to suggest your new yp? Yes, by multiplying the old yp by x. Okay, so therefore, your new yp will be dx cross 2x plus dx sine 2x. Okay, when you are multiplying this one into the first function and the second function, so x must be in the prime. Okay, you cannot change the argument for cos and sine. It will remain as 2x. Okay, so that's why you have c cos instead of c cos 2x squared that's that is wrong okay that is totally wrong okay so multiplying the whole function by x will give you this one okay so again compare yh and yp so clearly there is no uh, similar terms of function right okay so since your yh is equals to a cross 2x plus b sine 2x. So as you can see here, the, I'm, I just compare here. Okay. So there is no similar terms and a function or function. Okay, there is no similar terms or function in yh and yp. So yh is not equals to yp okay so therefore you will choose this one as your yh okay so what's next so next you have to differentiate your yp since your chosen yp is the last one okay the chosen yp that you already choose is cx cos 2x plus dx sine 2x okay so you have to differentiate this function twice substitute back into this differential equation and compare with the right hand side to get the value of c and d so you're going to differentiate this one but you have a problem here what is that problem yes you have a multiplication of two functions so you have to apply product rule for this one and also for this one. Okay. So you will have your y prime p is equals to u. So differentiate cos will be will give you negative sine two x. So differentiate the argument here will give you two. Okay, u v prime plus v u prime. So this one is for the first function. Plus, so using product rule for this function will give you u 
v prime so differentiate sign you will have cos 2x differentiate 2x will give you 2 plus v u prime so you will have sine 2x times d okay so simplify this one will give you oh sorry y prime you still y prime okay just expand and simplify the whole thing so you will have 2cx negative here negative 2cx sine 2x plus c cos 2x plus 2dx cos 2x plus d sine 2x okay so next you have to get your y double prime so you have four function here so this one is direct differentiation this one is direct differentiation your problem is this one and this one Okay. I advise you to differentiate this one separately and combine it in your y double prime. But if you are expert enough in product rule, you may do it directly here. Okay, just to make sure that you don't make any mistake. Okay, so I'm not that telling you that I'm an expert in product rule, but I want to do it fast. Okay, so I just do it here so i'm letting this one as u and this one as v let me write this so i'm letting this one u and v or this one is just u and v okay so you will have u v prime differentiate sign will give you cos 2x and differentiate this one will give you 2. always remember when you differentiate uh, a trigonometric function then you have to differentiate the argument here okay so differentiate sign will give you cost so copy the argument for cost which must be the same thing okay if you have two x here here must also be two x multiply by differentiate the argument here two x will give you two okay so u v prime plus v u prime which is negative 2c so this one is for the first function so for the second function so differentiate cos will give you negative sign so you will have negative c sine 2x so differentiate 2x will give you 2 okay plus again here apply product rule so you will have u v prime negative sine 2x times 2 plus v u prime 2 2 okay so this is the third function and the last one here plus differentiate sign will give you cos so d cos 2x differentiate the argument here oh, sorry differentiate the argument here 2x will give you 2 ok let me um, level it so you can see clearly so this is our first function this is our second and this is your third function and this is the last one okay so this one the whole thing this is your first function this is the second function and this one your third function and this is the last one okay so expand your y double prime 
and simplify your function will give you long way to go <laughs> so this one 2 times 2 is equal to 4 so you will have negative 4 cx cos 2x minus 2c sin 2x minus 2c sin 2x so this one plus so this one multiplied by this one 2 times 2 is 4 and this is negative so you will have negative 4 dx sin 2x plus 2 d cos 2x plus 2 d cos 2x please don't give up guys okay please don't give up do it carefully and just follow the step so you will go through step by step until the last one Okay, don't give up. So, let's try to simplify this one. So, therefore, your y double prime is equal to negative 4cx cos 2x. This one negative negative. So, negative 2 negative 2 will give you negative 4c sine 2x minus 4dx sine 2x so 2d plus 2d is equal to 4d cos 2x here you go so this is your y double prime this is your y prime and this is your y okay so we are going to substitute all these y y y double prime and also y prime in back into your differential equation so as you can see here the differential equations given to you is y double prime and y so now you are going to substitute y double prime and also your y okay y prime is not included uh, because there is no y prime in your differential equation okay so let me write it here so we are still in step 3 okay i'm sorry y double prime plus 4y is equal to 3 cos 2x okay so what is your y double prime this one here so negative 4c x cos 2x minus 4c sin 2x plus oh sorry we have a minus sign here minus 4dx sign x plus 4d cos 2x okay this one here Okay, so this is your y double prime plus 4. So what is your y? So y is equal to this one. So you will have cx cos 2x plus dx sine 2x, which is equal to 3 cos 2x. So expand and simplify all this function. So you will have 
negative 4cx cos 2x minus 4c sin 2x minus 4dx sin 2x plus 4d cos 2x. I just copy back for the first four equation. Okay, so this one here you have to expand. So therefore you will have plus 4cx cos 2x plus 4dx sin 2x which is equals to function on your right hand side 3 cos 2x so let's try to simplify if you can simplify this one so you have negative 4cx x cos 2x and here you have x cos 2x okay negative 4c plus 4c so the whole thing cancel out okay the next one what else this one here you have x sine 2x and this is also x sine 2x so negative 4d plus 4d will give you zero so you left with negative 4c sine 2x plus 4d cos 2x is equals to 3 cos 2x okay so now you are comparing left hand side with the right hand side okay so the first uh, function that you can compare is the one with cos 2x why because on your right hand side you have cos 2x so on your left hand side find a function of cos 2x which is this one so you will have to compare this one with this one so you have 4d is equals to 3 to give you d is equals to 3 over 4 okay so now you're comparing sine to x, but you don't have any sine to x on the right hand side. So therefore, you know that negative 4c is equal to 0. So c is equal to 0. Okay, so you left with only d, value of d. So therefore, your yp is equal to so generally you have cx cos 2x plus dx sine 2x. Okay, so therefore since your c is equal to 0, so this one. So you just left with this one. So therefore your yp is equal to 3 over 4x sine 2x. So now you already have your yh, this is this one, and also your yp is equal to this one. So can you write the general solution? Yes. So what is the general solution? y is equal to yh plus yp which is equals to a cos 2x plus b sine 2x plus 3 over 4x sine 2x okay so in my next video I'm going to show you on how to solve the second example okay so see you in my next video